Hi, this is Doug Robar. In this clip, we're going to look at how to add IntelliSense to Umbraco Razor macros, and in the second half, how to debug Umbraco Razor macros using Visual Studio. And we're going to begin by creating a macro called Subpages. And we could edit this macro inside Umbraco. But what I would like to do is to have IntelliSense to help me as I learn Razor. I'm going to open up the file system for my local IIS site inside Visual Studio. And select the Razor macro. If we attempt to get IntelliSense on the item, we don't get any. This is because the item is dynamic and is only resolved at runtime, and IntelliSense won't work with that. Let's see how we can resolve that problem. Umbraco.macroengines contains the dynamic node list and the dynamic node. A list is a collection of pages, and the dynamic node would be a single page. I'll create a variable called pages and assign it the result of this selection. I now have full IntelliSense for pages. Let's recreate this macro, this time with IntelliSense help. We want to have a dynamic node for the page. And for each of those, we turn an li with an href of some value. Because page is a dynamic node rather than a var, we get full IntelliSense. We can select the URL, the name, and all the other properties. Let's simplify this macro. To simplify it further, we can add Umbraco dot macro engines for the using, and then we don't have to include it every time we want a dynamic node or a dynamic node list. And that's all there is to it to get IntelliSense working. Anything that is dynamic will not be able to appear inside IntelliSense. In order to show debugging, I'm going to add this macro to the site's home page. I'll insert the macro directly into the rich text editor. Save and publish. And the result of the macro, when the page is loaded, is this list of links. In order to add debugging, I simply set a breakpoint. And then attach to the process. In my case, because I'm using IIS locally, I connect to the w3wp.exe process. Once that's done, reloading the page runs the macro and the breakpoint is hit. And Visual Studio comes to the front. 
we have all the debugging tools that we would expect. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this helpful.